What's going on guys? Welcome back to my How to Build a Custom Gaming PC series. And uh, this is episode 4. And in this episode we will put in the optical drive. And we will finally start putting some wires together, maybe part of the power supply. But uh, as you guys could notice, there's a little addition here. Now, I was going to put this in a video, but it actually took way too long. It was a big hassle. Because the CPU cooler, like that, that part, the radiator, radiator part, was supposed to go up there. But, I have these two huge fans. And, if those two weren't there, then I would be able to just screw that on up there like it should. But, since I do have those fans there, I can't. So, what I did, I just put them here right against these fans and then I will also put the two fans that it came with on this side so that's good and now that I think about it it would it, uh, it would actually be a lot better because uh, these fans like these bottom well actually all of these fans are sucking cold air in so that would be the best it would be cooling this the best than if it was up here because these fans are taking the heat out so that's well that wasn't planned, but now that I think about it, it's a good idea. Also, what I did, I took out all these extra hard drive shelves, except like some of these, but most of these are out. And, um, yeah, and that, well, on top of the this part, I didn't actually plug in this part, or plug in, or put on, or whatever, onto the CPU itself, because... I have a feeling that it, that would just get in the way when I'm plugging in wires, having this, like, I mean, it's not huge, but it's pretty, it's, it would be in the way if I'm trying to plug in wires, but, uh, so that's that, and then, uh, I will also have to plug in all of these wires, but for now, uh, we're gonna do the optical drive, which I will put up in this first slot, and, uh, so we'll do that right now so uh let's see we got the optical drive right here oh so uh here we go this would be the optical and that's upside down that's the optical drive and so, for this, it's not even that hard, really. Oh, and right here, it even tells you right at the bottom. I don't know if you guys could see that. But it says SATA power on this side. And then over here, it says SATA signal. So that's the SATA cable that we were plugging into the hard drives first. Uh, last episode, yeah. So, uh, this isn't even that hard, really. The only thing... Well, right here, as you can see, these, all the other optical slots, really, or like slots to put in disc or optical readers like this, have covers, but the first one didn't come with a cover, so you don't have to remove one. Unless you have two or more, or you are planning to put a, uh, something else there, then you would have to remove the cover, but if you don't and you only have one, then you're good. And this is pretty easy, all you gotta do. Just slide it in through the front and push this in. And uh, right here, we have this little part that comes up. So what you want to do is line up the holes that uh, the screw holes, well, they're supposed to be screw holes. Like, let's throw that up there. Right now it's lined up with this hole right there. So, we got that, but this part comes down over in this one, so we're going to have to move it over a little bit. And the good thing about this is that you don't, a you don't actually have to screw anything in. Like, see right there, it's lined up, and then right there, it's lined up. Uh, what's good is you don't have to actually screw anything in, but you could if you want to. You could screw put screws in on a this one up here, and then that one up there if you really wanted to but you could this comes in with like a built-in system you just swing it down 
Make sure it goes into those holes that you just lined up. And then you just want to, I don't know if you could see, but it says lock. So you push this way to lock. And it shouldn't be moving anywhere. Now, if you wanted to, you could use uh, this uh, some screws that came with the case and just put these in there. But uh, that's really all you got to do for that part. And uh, you could you could see that it's uh, the actual drive is sticking out a little bit. That's all right because we do have a cover. Uh, like the front cover comes out probably just as much as this. So it, no worries, it's not going to stick out. Like once you put the front cover on. And uh, so what we're going to do next is uh, hook up the uh, SATA cable. And uh, this is really not that hard either just like with the with the memory or the storage or I mean not the RAM but the storage like the hard drives basically the same idea you're gonna line up the whole or the little notches in the cables and uh, you should be good and uh, this one I don't know it seems like it's shorter but anyway what I'm gonna do is take the SATA cable and plug it into that part that's up there that's in the optical drive and uh, just we'll probably run it down through one of these and then have it come out over here again so uh, let's see This time we're going to plug it in like this, and then I'll have it run through probably this very first one up here, and then have it come out through this one right here, and I'm probably just going to plug it in just like the other ones. Actually, I should probably just to have some room, put it up here. And boom. So now I put it up here just so if I have any other cables, I could just easily put it here than having to go on top of the ones. If I filled these up, I wouldn't have to go on top of these first to go up there. But uh, that's that, and I'll be back. And I'm back. And uh, while I was at a break I guess you could say I did a lot of things I mean not a lot really it was just plugging in some cables and hooking up some stuff and the, re the only reason that I decided not to record it is because you got or whoever's like watching this wouldn't really be able to see it because most of it's like small wires like this so my, my hand would basically be covering most of it and so what I decided to do, I just did it. I just went ahead and did it, and then I'll just explain what I did now. And uh, so I, I attached the fans here that came with the uh, CPU cooler itself. And uh, I hooked those up to here. Now, I didn't hook up the actual cooler yet. What I did is that there's a, like a little... Hold on, let's show, let's unplug this, and I'll show you guys how it basically works. It's basically a two-way splitter, so you plug in one fan to one and the other fan to the other, and then this part, which is, base, is just like a little three-pin uh, plug-in, and you plug that into... Uh, I'm pretty sure you'd plug that in towards a CPU fan. And then there's another cable right here that looks like the main power cable. It's got like seven pins or six or uh, nine. Nine. Looks like, yeah, looks like nine. So this looks like the main power cable. So. And then this you plug in, I'm pretty sure. I'll double check for this, but I'm pretty sure you plug it in on the motherboard where it says CPU fan. But what I did, I plugged in 
basically like these have little teeth here too i don't know if you could see it as well but like uh, on that angle you can there's teeth and so do the this piece so does this piece right here so you basically line those up plug those in and then same for the other one so you get this cable this is the other one same thing boom and that's done so, and then I didn't plug these in yet, like the other two cables that come from here, because I'm going to wait until I hook up the actual part to the CPU, and then I'm going to hook those up. But the other things I did here is, uh, I'm not sure if you could see it, but right here we got the HDMI 3 cable that comes from up here. So that's the HDMI 3 cable that comes all the way down through here, and then it comes out here, and that's where you plug it into the motherboard. So that wasn't hard at all. You just the only thing that I did really that changed like the appearance, I guess, of it is when when I first got the case, all the cables came together down and came out of this hole down there where you see this red and yellow cable coming out that's where they were all coming out and what I just did I just took them took some of them out whichever ones I wanted to go out and then have them come in through like different holes whichever whichever worked the best for that specific cable so that's what I did I plugged in here's the USB 2.0's both of those this one and this one I might have to come in for a closer view probably a better idea so those two are USB 2.0's here there's actually a lot there's I think that's like power switch and HDD LEDs and uh, there's a lot of stuff on, on there it's like a bunch of small cables and then right here you have the it's the wires uh, labeled HD audio but in the in the motherboard, like in the motherboard manual, it's uh, it's from the it's the wire, or it's the cable coming down from up here for the uh, headphone jack. I'm pretty sure, or one of the yeah, one of those. So that's where that came from. And then the other things I did that fan. There's a a br power bridge for I think the four fans that are right here or not those Th those came with the CPU cooler so that's separate but there's these two that are right behind it and then there are these two over here those those four are connected there uh, that fan and the two up here are connected here along with the side fan that's gonna that I'm gonna hook up last because that's gonna be the last thing I'm gonna put on, and those are all gonna hook up there. Well, I already hooked those up. So, and one of these I kept it bundled up a little bit. This one, this fan right here, because it's right there, so I don't need to extend the whole wire for no reason. And uh, this one, I unraveled, have it, I made it come up through here, out of that hole so that there's less space taken up in here and then have it all go all the way through and come back in through this hole so the only thing that I'm gotta do now I'm well, other than hooking up that other fan is uh... putting plugging in the power supply right there this main big one right there and uh... after that the fan should be working fine and then there's the optical drive we just put in so, and then, yeah, that's the set of cables that came. Also, I'm not sure, I'm going to look at where this came from, but there was, oh, you can't really see it. But underneath this top one, there's another set of cable that came from up here. So, I want I want to see what, where, uh, what that actually came from. But there's another one that came up there, so I just plugged it in, too. Um, but that's basically that. I just plugged in these cables for the fans, these cables down here. So basically, I plugged in everything that the all the cables that the case came with. 
except for this power cable which I'm pretty sure which I'm gonna have to look at again but I'm pretty sure that this power cable is for when you hit the power button up there because since this power this cable came all the way from up here so I'm, I'm gonna look into that but I'm pretty sure that's what it is so that's gonna plug in either to a power sub either to the power supply or it's going to plug into another adapter of some sort that's going to be eventually plugged into the power supply. So, yeah. And then once we start doing the power supply, that's when the cables might get hectic. Because that's, we got a power supply coming in here. That's one big one. There is some, I think, yep, a couple up there. And I think there is one that you put in up through the side over here and that's just to the motherboard so power supply we're also going to have to go through each of these the optical drive up there and the power from the power from the CPU I'm not sure exactly I'm going to figure this out too but I'm pretty sure by the looks of the pin or the plug-in it looks like you plug it into the motherboard but I'm going to have to check for sure because it might be no it's it's I don't think I don't think it's to the power supply it's most likely to the motherboard but I'll check that out just to make sure but uh so yeah that's basically all the cables that I did now oh and we also have this one that uh that hangs off the HD audio cable that I plugged in there it's the uh AC97 cable. I, I gotta figure out where that goes because by the looks of it, it should be somewhere in the vicinity of this, but I'm not sure. If that's not the case, then you probably don't have to plug it in, but I'm gonna check for sure because you know I want to make sure everything's working fine. But uh, yeah, so that's oh, and uh. The reason I could plug in my video card right now into there, but I think because that's because when I plug that in though, it's gonna be sticking up all the way to like here. So that's just gonna be a big obstruction of when I'm trying to plug in all the cables. So I I thought that it would be best if I do the power supply first, and then I'm gonna plug in all the other cables. Or plug in the video card and then and then any other cables basically after that because after I plug in the video card and the power supply then uh, we should be good to go so uh, the power supply and then the power yeah the power so after the power supply then uh, we plug that then we could plug in the video card and that's probably gonna be over here and then I'm pretty sure the video card has a couple cables that come from it, but that that shouldn't be oh, that shouldn't be a big problem. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you guys have any questions on any of these videos, just put those in the comments below, and uh, I'll try to answer any of them as best as I can. But uh. If you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you guys want to see more of this series or just any of my videos, subscribe. And uh, again, if you guys want to comment anything, any questions, you guys could go ahead and do that. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.